Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and share the link and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish. And it is ready. Always you can find the video because it disappeared from my channel. Search for the same exact title after a few hours and you will find it. Uh, today our topic is different from usual. You know, the Muslims, they have tons of articles and uh, there's millions of websites designating those websites to speak about why Allah is God. And the funny those website, I mean, they try to present their God for us, but in Arabic. I mean, you, they cannot, you see, uh, Islamic religion is in the Arab religion where they try to enforce what they call Arabism. I'm not sure if this is the correct word. Where they try to enforce the Arab culture in everybody else. So you convert to Islam, you have to use a, an Arab name. You have to eat like the Arab. You have to say, you have to greet like the Arab. You have to do everything like the Arab. So Islam is a religion made by the Arab for the sake of the Arab and making uh, the Arab superior. And even when you pray to the God, it's called the God of Islam, uh, you have to pray in Arabic. Now here in front of us in this website, the Muslims, they are trying to present to us their God. And always for sure, they flood us with like speeches. Like Allah is amazing, Allah blah, blah, blah. Absolute truth is one God. Okay. You know, first of all, about this one God thing. You see, for me as a Christian, we believe in one God. We don't believe in three or four. Trinity is one God. But it doesn't matter, really. I mean, what if God, if what if God is, uh, what if there's gods? <clears throat> what if there is gods? So the the one God is a, is a is a like to to make yourself like superior because you believe in one God. Well, there is a church. It's called the Church of Satan in San Francisco. They believe that Satan is the only one God. Okay, there's many religions, many cults in the world. They believe in one God. So believe in one God, two God, three God, five God. It doesn't matter really. The question is, is your God exist? The numbers of them will not change the fact if he is false or not. So this is one of the fallacy they try to present their propaganda on us that we believe in one God and think by saying that they became superior. Your God is really silly. And you know, if you read the Quran, you would die laughing. Like yesterday, we have a Muslim who is trying to defend Muhammad and the Quran about women have a sperm coming from their chest. And where? From the location of the necklace. Women don't have a sperm and women don't produce a sperm. And there is nothing is coming from the chest. And the man have a sperm coming from the backbone. So you have one God, you have ten God, but this God is a silly God. He cannot even quote the name of a Christ correctly. He cannot even quote the name of the mother of uh, the father of Mary correctly. He thinks the father of Mary is the same father of Moses. Call him Amran. Calling Mary the sister of Aaron, thinking that they are one family. When the fact Mary have nothing to do with Moses, and they are from two different tribe. So. This book is a very silly book, and Muhammad, he thought by copying some stuff from the Bible, he will make himself legitimate. And for sure, we can expose this uh, false leg leg legitimacy, you know, by reading a little bit in the Quran. The question for truth, the Awi in sparing universe declares. And here, the Muslims, they quote for you a verse from the Quran. <clears throat> We will show them our signs. The, the funny that the Arab, they were asking Muhammad 24 hours, seven days a week for a sign. And Muhammad, he said to them, Allah refrain from sending signs. We will show them our signs. Okay, where is your signs? And look what the Muslim people say to you. Do you see the sun? Uh-huh. Uh, brother, do you see the fish? Uh-huh. Uh, brother, did you see the shrimp? Uh, yeah, the shrimp look shrimpy. What does this have to do with Allah? So, the sign of Allah is the one of the most funny signs because any God who is any religion who have a belief in God, what the, doesn't matter what their God name is, they can call him Sony, they can call him Tony, it doesn't matter. They think that he is the one who created the sun. So what is the signs of Allah? What is your God signs? So if we if we uh, click here. Uh, this re, re, uh, read cover more, I think, but this is, will be images, not uh, not text. I don't want to see images. Uh, yeah, see, it's images loading. Yeah, this is like a presentation of uh, witchcraft. 
I mean, you have a God, even he, 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 is, uh, he is saying in the Quran that he sent two angels to teach witchcraft. How in the world this is, can be true? I don't see anything. What is the presentation? They want to show us images of stars. I can show you images of stars. So anyway, this is, this is how silly when they try to present for you something. Okay, where is the signs of Allah? Secondly, divine identity. Hmm? Divine identity. One God, many names. I mean, do you see the logic? The proof that Allah is a true God, that He is a He have a divine identity with one God, many names. And why Allah have many names? What do you mean Allah have many names? You see, I understand that in language, like in the, in the in the Hebrew, um, they call God like the word God have many words, but it's not really a name. But why your God have many names? Well, what does that mean? He is not satisfied with one name, and then they come to the conclusion that Allah have ninety nine names. And if we check in the Quran, we cannot find even seventy of them. So where is the the rest coming from? Then Allah guidance. Okay, what is Allah guidance to go and attack the neighbors and take their women? As the Prophet he says, attack the blondies, attack the Romans, so you can get the blondies. This is Allah guidance. Or the one who killed for the sake of Allah, Allah will give him 40 virgins, have no panties. So here you see that there is a fallacy. And you know, let, let me click at Allah guidance. I want to click at Allah guidance. Even though each individual in, individual is influenced by their surrounding environment, inherent within uh, each individual born, blah, 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 blah. okay, okay, uh, let us go to the guidance of Allah. Hmm. Every thought, words, action has potential being closer to further, further away, okay. Now, let us see Allah guide us. Let there no conclusion in religion. You see, the Muslims always, they quote for you this verse, they say Islam does not force religion in others. The fact Muhammad, he quote this verse, the same chapter is the same chapter about killing others. This one, it was saying that you cannot force Muslims not to accept, not, not people not to accept Islam. But Muhammad, he said, if somebody leave Islam, kill him. And here you see the deception. This is one of the big, bigger signs of Islam. How you say to me, how you quote for us this verse, trying to deceive us. When your prophet, he order you to do this and you believe in this and you practice this every day in your life. Which one of is the correct one? Who is a, who is lying for us? Somebody is lying because this verse obviously doesn't mean that. This verse it was about a bunch of Jews Muhammad he was saying to them uh, don't force your children not to accept Islam you cannot do that the truth came that's it the guidance of Allah came this is what it's all about you cannot force anyone not to accept Islam but you cannot leave Islam and the proof in the front of you actually we can show even the proof from the Quran Let us see. Chapter 8, verse number 39. What it says? Read carefully. Fight. Fight the kuffar. Fight who? Fight them. Okay, until what? Until there's no more fitna. You know, it's the Muslim that they add the word oppression. It doesn't say that. More fitna, I mean, no more problems. Nobody dispute Allah. And if they convert to Islam, don't kill them. Do you see it? Fight them until there, there's no, there is no, and, and, oh, and the only religion will be is Islam. You see, even the translation here, it says, uh, and there prevail justice and faith in Allah. So the only one can stay as a religion is Islam so how the other verse saying there is no we cannot force people into into religion and here it says fight them until they convert to Islam 
and not only that in the same the verse after it says and any uh, things you take from the booty you, you divide for the Muslims and Muhammad will take the fifth of it so how Islam is a good religion and you are at, as asking people to attack people to take their money and their wealth and even their women and then you divide the slaves between you and then you rape them so when the Muslim they speak about Islam I said to myself today you know what let us uh, uh, change a little bit there is other religion it's called uh, the Buddha there is millions and millions of people they believe in this religion if you look at the teaching of Buddha you will find sadly you know to say that the shoe of Buddha is better than all the morality of Islam all together This guy's shoe is more holy and more pure than all the teaching of Allah in the Quran. Actually, I can say his underwear is more holy than the whole teaching of Allah. If you go to the teaching of Buddha, and I don't, I'm not an expert with the Buddha religion. This is the Buddha religion teaching. You should not lie. You should not take a life. You should not steal. You should not commit adultery. Muhammad, he said that he did all of those. Muhammad, he taught Muslims to lie. Muhammad took the life of the people, millions of people. Muhammad, he steal. We just showed you the verse says the booty. Since then, this is a booty. This is a booty of your neighbor. How your neighbor money is a booty. Muhammad, he said you can lie. Even you can lie to your wife. And then Muhammad, he forbid uh, uh, alcohol only when he was unable to drink. He used to drink three, four days a day, a week. Actually, the Muslims used to, to go to pray and they are totally drunk. And Muhammad never complained. And then the, the Arab, they start uh, laughing at Muhammad and his followers. Look at them. They are drunk and they are falling apart when they are praying. I wish I have a camera at that day. So Muhammad, he said this. He did not say don't drink. Why Muhammad? Why Allah did not say don't drink? The Muslim, they say Islam came in stages. What stages, man? Either drinking is good, forbidden. You can forbid it right away. Are you trying to fool people? Say it's okay, drink now, and later I will force you because now I don't have an army. Are you saying that Muhammad was deceiving people in the beginning? He said to them, you can drink. But later he changed his mind. He says, you, you know, you can drink now, but later now I can beat you and I will force you not to drink. So Islam is religion of violence and forcing not convincing this is the stages mean so look all you believe approach not to prayer when you are drunk read the interpretation and you will see that Muhammad and his followers they were falling apart when they drink when they when they pray Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. hey brother are you okay Hey brother, I'm very okay. Actually, I can see Allah in person now. They arrested the women going to Saudi Arabia to do Hajj, but she was very old and she had a, a ball of whiskey with her. So they said to her, the police in Saudi Arabia, don't you know that alcohol is forbidden, especially you are coming to Mecca? Shame on you. You are 90 years old and you are bringing whiskey, black label? She said, my son, I cannot walk around the Kaaba. If I drink this black label, the Kaaba will go around me. Which makes sense. And convincing. You bring a woman from the end of the world just to spend her money so Muhammad will make a business to enrich the people of the Arab of them of Mecca. And here we go, this 19 years old woman. Now she have a duty to come, but she cannot walk around the Kaaba. So when they speak about, you know, like religion, what religion mean really? Is it religion to go and attack the neighbor just because they have a bunch of uh, blondie girls, as Muhammad said? Is it religion to steal? You can be a thief, but if somebody else is steal, we cut his hand. Muhammad is the biggest thief. Actually, even the Muslims, they accuse him that he's stolen underwear. The Muslim themselves, and they were fighting over what? Over theft. 
both of them the Muslims and Muhammad they stole a lot of goods from from the Arab and now they are fighting over who took the underwear and imagine what kind of people they are they are accusing their best man that he is the one who took a piece of a clothing I mean how trashy those companion are how trashy imagine I have an I have a, a people who believe in me I announce myself a prophet and then uh, uh, they accuse me that I am the one who took the bra you took what the bra this is what they are fighting over over and then Allah he make a verse says it's not for a prophet to steal but you you, you idiot this is a theft that the, the, they are they are it's they are fighting over something stolen so how it is not for a prophet to steal when they are fighting over something stolen already Buddha he was still a human being which Buddha is more real than because Allah is not exist there is nothing is called Allah the funny thing about the Muslims anything you see around you they they they, they, uh, they make it for Allah like Jesus he um, he he make the blind see Allah he made him like me see brother it was the will of Allah to make this and make him blind see any you brother we ask him about the people going to the space it was the will of Allah to make them go to the space like what the heck a brother, we have a smartphone. A brother, it was the will of Allah to make a smartphone. A brother, I was in the bathroom. Why you stop talking? I did something there. Say it, say it. Hello? I just came from the bathroom. It was the will of... Uh, no. <clears throat> so anything happened, anything you do, they say it's the will of Allah, but there's any proof of what the will of Allah It's a madness. So if you go, you know, for those who don't believe in Christianity, you know, but just compare. If you are a Muslim listening, you know, I don't believe in Buddha. I don't believe anything have to do with Buddha, you know. But if you look at Buddha teaching and Muhammad teaching, you will find that Buddha is way, way better. You know, we cannot even compare. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God saying, that the man and wives they should lie to each other i mean what kind of guidance is this guidance this is why if you marry a muslim woman get ready get ready brother you are marrying a woman who believe that she can lie to you uh, and look at the translation here look at this translation funny translation all right a brother lying is allowed in three cases a brother okay in our brother or for bringing reconciliation amongst persons and words of husband to his wife and wife uh, the words of the wife to her husband what and here they are, they are adding things, it's not even the hadith like between two brackets. So, what kind of a ethnic or sorry, ethic will teach that a man he should lie to his wife and a wife she should lie to her husband, and we can fix problems between the friends or between people by lying to each of them? What kind of a prophet he says if a woman she don't take off her panty Allah and the angels will curse her This is all the eth the ethic of Muhammad You know what is that The messenger of Allah would say I do not count as a liar as a man who put things right between people and how you can put things between people right how you call it right and it is about lying 
this is the ethic of Islam. We can fix problems by lying. So, okay, you know, you if you have a president and your president, there's no jobs. Your president can go on TV and says, a blooded ancestor. We have a lot of money and we are giving to you next year. And every citizen brother is going to have in his house big screen TV and microwave. And I promise you, brother, that you will have a Ferrari. This is what you are saying. The people, they are going to go strike. People, they will fight. People. So now we lie to them. And this is halal. This is the ethic of Islam. Saying the word which intend only putting things right. How you can put things right by lying? And then a man who says something in war. By the way, Muslim, when they talk to Christians or Jews or Hindus or Buddhas or atheists, they are in war with you. So don't think war is like a war like by guns. No. According to Islam, and we can show tons of reference, anyone who don't accept Islam is in war with Islam. There is two lands in the world. There is land of war and land of peace. Land of peace, in according to Islam, is the land controlled by Muslims and the land which Sharia law is a practice. And there is a land of war where uh, uh, nobody there accept Islam, or a few. As simple as that. You can go on YouTube and search land of war and land, land of peace. You will see many Muslim sheikh speaking about it. And there is one more land, actually. It's called the land of fitna. And land of fitna, it says, a place where Muslims are allowed to practice their religion, but they are not allowed to practice Sharia law. Uh, or, the, you know, like it's, uh, let us say, practicing part of Islam, like uh, just a pray in a mosque. They have a mosque. But they cannot cut hands and they cannot uh, stone women. And they cannot kidnap Christian women, you know. So, this is Islam. I am not expert with the Buddha uh, belief, but do the Buddha teach that a man he can lie to his wife? I don't think so. If somebody knows something like this, let me know. Do Buddha believe that we can attack the neighbor and take his wife, like Muhammad did? How many women Muhammad he kidnapped them and he raped them? Even the Quran says in chapter 4 verse number 24 that it's forbidden for you married women except those who you capture. Imagine you capture a woman, she's married, you can rape her. This is Quran, this is not Hadith. <clears throat> Here we go. It's forbidden it for you, married women. Except who? Except your hand, right hand process. How you get those? By war capturing. If you don't believe me, you can open any Islamic interpretation or read. Ibn Kathir, al Qurtubi, al Jalanin, you name it. It's officially allowed to rape a woman. In the Bible, they speak about those who they are captured in war. You can marry them. You cannot rape them. And not only that. You cannot marry this woman after you capture her right away. If you want to marry her. And the reason, you know, we are talking about thousands of years ago. The Jews themselves, they've been captured the whole nation. The whole nation were captured. Women, children, men, even they took their animals with them. They moved the whole country of Israel all the way to Iraq, all the way to Egypt. The whole country is moved like goats. To the Jews, they survive. They are, let us say, they are, they are living in the time of survival. We are talking about thousands of years ago. And we are talking about Muhammad. He's attacking his neighbors just for one reason. To take the women and to take the money. And then Muhammad, not only he encouraged the Muslims, like if you go uh, the chapter of the Roman, uh, you know, speaking about the Roman, and there is a verse speaking about attacking the Roman so we can get the blonde girls. What kind of a man he is.
What about a man? He killed the husband. He took the father. He killed the brother. And then he raped the woman. After a few minutes from killing her family. And he made her walk in the top. Actually, his companion, he made her walk in the top of their bodies. And right after Muhammad, he made a tent and he pushed her inside and he raped her. Imagine after an hour or, or, or a few minutes from somebody doing this to your family and then he raped you. This is the truth. Let me show, let me let me try to find this hadith if we can find it. Maybe we can find it. I can find it for sure, but I want to find it in English. Otherwise, finding things is not really a problem. Here we go. We came to Khaybar, we bestowed the conquest of fortress, etc. And then Muhammad, after he captured them, he killed all the men. <clears throat> he took Sophia and she was a bride. She was a bride. He killed her husband. And she was a bride. Do you see it? Allah messenger he selected her for himself and he set the tent and he raped her and the Muslim they call it that this is marriage this is marriage who in the world want to marry the man who did kill her husband her father and her brother So we cannot compare really between uh, between Muhammad and Buddha. Buddha is a million times better. So if you are a person who think your Christianity is not good for you, I don't know why. Well, the Buddha cult is a million times better than the Islamic cult. Look, he just killed her family. And he made a tent and he raped her right away. And one of his men, he guarded the tent because he was afraid that this woman, she might kill him. While Buddha saying, don't kill. Don't kill, don't steal, don't lie, don't misuse sex. Muhammad, he did all of those. Which one of those, Muhammad, he did not practice and he did not encourage his men to do? Any Muslim can tell me? So for sure, Buddha is way better. Buddha is a million times better. So, if you ask me, you see, I've been, I've been in, uh, in uh, Asian countries where Buddha, I never disrespect their religion. I mean, I don't believe in the religion. I, I, I spoke to them to convince them that this is not. But I cannot say that the Buddha people are bad people. You know, I cannot say that the Buddha. There's many things about him, the negative things I can speak about, as I know. But my knowledge is limited in this religion. Uh, however, if I go and live between people who they are Buddha, I will be one million times more safe and secure from living in a city full of Muslims. Make a post on Facebook about Muhammad and you are a Muslim, they will burn you alive. Just yesterday in Bangladesh, four people, they die, get killed because of a post in Twitter, I think, or Facebook. A poor guy from the Ahmadiyya cult, he posts something in Facebook in, in Pakistan. They took him to the high building and they throw him from the top of the building in the school in the front of the police.
right? Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Justice saying, CP, which one of those did not God of the Bible of prophet of God in the Bible practice? My friend, you have to prove it. As an example, if you say to me, David, David, he cried for God asking for forgiveness. And the Bible says, you see, there's the Bible, there's a Bible teaching and there's people doing. And here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. If you want to judge us, you judge us by Christ. Because the Bible says every human being is a sinner and all of them they do wrong. This is why we need the Messiah. So I challenge you right now to show me how Jesus and what Jesus did. I am not a prophet. And I am not, no, nobody claimed that people saying that Christian Prince is the best of mankind. You Muslim claim that Muhammad is the best of mankind. You Muslim claim that Allah teaching is the best of the teaching, but yet is encouraging rape, encouraging theft, encouraging killing, encouraging everything ugly. Even your prophet saying you can lie to your wife and your wife, she can lie to you. What is left? So in the Bible, this is because this is the book of truth reporting bad and good things people do. But there is a huge different thing between God said and I said. God did and I did. So you want to judge me as a Christian, you judge me by Christ. I follow Christ. I don't follow David. David himself, he was crying to God asking for forgiveness. When David, he wanted to build a temple for God, God said to, to, to David, your temple, we don't want your temple. You are a criminal. You are full of sin. This is in the Bible. So there is a huge difference between God who encourage sin and teach sin and filth and rape and God who says don't do that. So if we can compare between Buddha and Muhammad, which is an insult to Buddha, and I hope the Buddha people will not sue me. This is an insult to Buddha. Buddha is way, way, way more honorable than who is Muhammad. We cannot compare between Buddha and Muhammad. Uh, just to show you the deception, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Justice, let me put this in the screen. He said that Jesus was a hate preacher. According to Luke 14, I will put the verse for you so people will see how Jesus became a hate preacher. Jesus, he said, if you don't hate your father and your mother and you love me more than anything, you don't belong to me. Uh, is that Jesus teaching hate? That's your lies, my friend. Jesus here is speaking here. If you love anything in this world more than me, if you attach yourself to your parents, we don't belong to me. Either you follow me or you follow them. Their teaching says, don't believe in Jesus. My teaching says, follow me. So which one you hate? You hate their teaching or you love their teaching? This is not about hating your parents. According to the Bible, actually, the one who insult his parents, he go to hell and actually is going to be stoned. This is the Bible teaching, the Old Testament. If you insult your parents, you will die, death. And Jesus is saying, I came to complete. However, I have a surprise for you. What if I show you your prophet copy in the same words of Jesus? What you will do? Hmm? If I show you your prophet saying exactly as Jesus said, trying to copy Jesus, what you would do? Are you there, Mr. Uh, Mr. Justice? Everybody saw you saying that this is a, a hate teaching. Are you there? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I call me? Mr. Justice, do you like to call me? 
Did your prophet he said exactly as it is in Luke 14? Are you ashamed now if you're a prophet? I thought this is a hate teaching. Are you willing to call me and I will make you read in the screen exactly what your prophet said? Hello? Hello? Let us show you Muhammad copying the teaching of Jesus. And this is the Muslim translation. We have only to love Muhammad. Anything else, you are not, you don't belong to Islam. Are you there? Why Muhammad is copying the teaching of Jesus? Hello? Now, this is what Jesus said. Any Muslim want to call me? So anyway, here you see the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. If they're a prophet, he says something, it's okay. If they're a prophet, he rape, it's okay. It's good, actually. The second you say, you're a prophet, he did that, it's okay. But Jesus said, love your enemy. What about hating your parents? How you can hate your parents? Love your enemy. So obviously what Jesus is saying, quote the verse after it and people will laugh at you. So this is what they do always. They misquote teaching of Jesus in order to lie to you. Jesus, he said to those who he they were crucifying him in the cross, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. Imagine they just crucified him. He is in the cross at the moment. He have nails in his hands. He have nails in his feet, and they are, he's dying slowly. And he's saying he's he's worried about them. He says, "Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing." No, my friend, it's the same. Let me show you from the Quran. Let me get you busted from the Quran. Here we go. Are you ready? You see, you are talking to Christian prince. Look like the Hadith is not satisfying for you. Let us go to the Quran. Here we go. Are you ready for the bomb? Take it, my friend. This is the Quran said that you will not find a Muslim, a true Muslim. He is good to his parents and his family if they are not Muslims. Do you see it? You cannot love them. This is Quran. Do you see it, Abdul? This is your Quran. Tell me this is a weak Quran. You will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day loving those who resist Allah and his messenger even though they are their fathers and their sons are you there are you there Abdul hello hello he will take a nap now this is Quran Are you there? You are talking to Christian Prince. Don't even try. I will take your biggest shake in the world for a snack. You know what for a snack mean? For a snack, not even for, for, for dinner. This is Islam. You cannot be even loving, and this is he mean it here. A real Muslim, he will not find one Muslim. He loves those who they are rejecting Islam, even if they are your father and your mothers and your brothers and your sons.
which chapter is that anyone remember chapter 58 verse number 22 I'm not going to keep this video long because I want people to download it and I want you to add subtitle in your language especially for those who are in Indonesia etc Islam my friend is an ugly disgusting cult it is not only ugly it's a stupid it's the most stupid cult ever imagine there's a God he says to me Christian Prince if you believe me I will give you a lot of women they have no panties <gasps> panty 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 really yes and their boobs are big like what you are trying to seduce me to believe in Muhammad by big boobs have you ever ever heard of God trying to seduce people by boobs booby booby is that Quran is that the word of Allah I will have garden full of women who have big boobs me oh boy I turn my head up and down I turn it turn it turn it turn it or turn it around and all oh, what I can see a bunch of boobs around me they start bouncing like making sound boing 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 all over me and all what I can see Prophet Muhammad promising me big boobs big boobs big boobs big boobs what you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you big boobs big boobs even the the only religion of Islam the only religion of Islam is the one who encourage women to give their boobs to do breastfeeding for adult have you ever heard of an ethic like this breast feeding for adult what is that which country is that I am an Arab we don't do that you know what if they do that I will go back home which I am where I'm born I mean I will take my back right now when I want to wait in America why you want to live in America after day after today why I get a free milk free boobs four wives four wives I mean what what is love this is lost a man what a woman can do to a man is the same as for one woman they can do what he want he think they are cars yes they are like cars and not only four by the way this is four at the same time you can have unlimited you can get you can have a new for every four seconds if you want but anyway uh, <clears throat> boobs is the better way I mean this is the best uh, promise Allah he promised us I was worried that uh, their boobs is small I mean you go all the way to heaven you take a train a galaxy a spaceship and you arrive to the heaven of Allah and then you open the door of the bedroom you find 70 women and they have no boobs Like what? Like what? What? I came all the way here and what? What? Like what? Hello? This is religion. If this is a religion, what is a stupidity? I mean, this is alone is enough to prove to us that Muhammad is a scam. Imagine now in the year 2019, a guy he stand in the middle of the square of any city in the world saying, Hey, if you believe in me, I will give you women with big boobs. And even when you touch them, they make a sound like boing, boing, boing. Brother, if you have a slow motion camera, brother, please take some photos, brother. Boing. Orgasm seven years, what seven years? It's seventh years. The orgasm of a Muslim in the heaven is 70 years, which is really not long. I'm really upset. Only 70 years orgasm. So be honest. Which one is better? Buddha or Muhammad? <laughs> Again, I repeat, the shoe of Buddha is better than all the teaching of Allah and his prophet. 
and the, the 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 panty or the underwear of Buddha is more holy than the teaching of Islam. I'm not going to stay long here. Just wanted to share this with you. Don't forget to download the video. The video will disappear soon from my uh, channel, but just search for the same title, maybe two hours from now. All right, and you will find it, and people they will download it, and they will share it. I want to say thank you for being here. Keep it shorter. This is short, supposedly. When, when Christian Prince, he say short videos, like an hour. I mean, unbelievable. But I cannot, I mean, you make a video for five minutes. I mean, because information is connected together and you you, you have to cover the image, you know? We have to give you a, a full picture of the thing, not just uh, fast food, right? So this is a short video of Christian Prince. Very short. But uh, remember, it's a very short video, but we talk about good big boobs. So <laughs> it's not really short. I mean, it's really big. <laughs> big boobs. May Allah boob you, Muhammad. You are really weird. You make me sick, and you are weird, though. The boob prophet. Take your booby, man. Take your booby and leave us, leave us alone. Leave us alone. Thank you, everybody, for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And as I was, I say, Christ is Lord and Islam is nothing but a scam and false. Thank you. Take care.